Hello everyone, this is Blood Quintero, and I am here to do a reading for the collective. This is for your love, career, family, and finances. This is a reading for lo your love life, your career, your family, and your finances. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. I kind of got to hurry up because I got something I got to do. So um, what's going on? In the, and this is for today and tomorrow. So March 16th and the 17th, 2021. What's going on with the collectives uh, in the collective's love life for today and tomorrow? What's going on with the collective's love life? So, discontentment and boredom came out. So, collective, um, there's are some there is some contentment going on and boredom. <coughs> um, concerning your love life, um, I'm getting from this card. Your discontentment and boredom is, um, what I want to say, something is going very good and something is not going very good. Um, if that's not the case, I'm getting your, con your discontentment and boredom is unwarranted, like it's unnecessary because that man, if he just turned around, it's beautiful outside that rainbow. The shadow of the rainbow, the reflection of the rainbow is right there behind him. And it's beautiful in that background. And he off somewhere in the in the shade. Um, and he feeling some type of way. But outside is beautiful. So I don't know collective in your love life on the outer. On the outer. Um, I don't know. You guys may be trying to save face. You could Something could be going on in your love life on the inside. That you don't want people to know about. But on the outside, it's beautiful in this car. But this man, he in the shade. I don't know if people could be throwing shade at you about your love life. I don't know if you and your person could be going at it. And you just in the shade. But it's nice and sunny in the background on that picture. What's going on with the collective in their career? New beginnings. So that's good. New beginnings. Um, major arcana for, um, the, um, magician. Mm-hmm. So, some type of manifestation going on. What's going on with the collective and with their family? Your heart chakra. Your heart chakra, something going on with your heart chakra. Concerning your family, you know, that's love, emotions, the heart chakra. Let me just see what the book say real quick about the heart chakra. It say, I love. Uh, to the heart, this chakra represents unconditional love, compassion, harmony, relationships, and healing. It's believed to be the link between your mind, body, and soul. Balancing this area may take a while, but you should allow all the time that you need so the healing energy can get through and flow freely. So, this is about love, compassion, unconditional love, and healing. So, um, there could be some healing going on. The good thing about it, Collective, um, this card didn't come out in reverse. So, your heart chakra is not blocked. It's just maybe your healing is taking longer. It's gonna The card says it's going to take time. Things take time concerning the heart. Yeah. Allow all the time that you need so the healing energy can get through and flow freely. Yeah. What's going on with the collective and their finances? The collective finances today and tomorrow. Spiritual strength. Spiritual strength. I'm getting a little bit of intuition. Downloads, revelation. Something going on with your um, finances collective. Um, there's a need for intuition. That's like spiritual strength. There's probably a need for you to have faith concerning your, um, your finances, but spiritual strength came out or you could have trusted, you could have trusted, um, manifested something in your finances and it took spiritual strength. 
Yeah. You could have trusted for something, a breakthrough in your finances, and it took spiritual strength. Give me more detail about the collective and their love life for today and tomorrow. Why is discontent and boredom here? Why is discontent and boredom here? For the collective's love life. The star. Yeah. Um, this is healing. This is a card of healing too. Um, there's some type of healing going on. So it's all good, but it's something going on collective. You probably want to heal. Or your relationship is all good, but it could be something about your person or something about your love life that you are hoping for. So say like you and your person, y'all good, but maybe they're not good in their finances. And that's affecting you and you're hoping for the best. Um, Maybe you're single. And you're, you know, you're probably, you're probably dating. You single, you could be dating, mingling, but it's like, you're hoping to be in a committed relationship or you single and you're healing from maybe a divorce or something or a breakup. I'm getting something is all good and something is, it's all good collective, but something is making you feel some type of way. Clarify the star. Oh, well, I get, okay. What's going on, collective, with your love life? Collective, you or somebody else, possibly you, collective? Your person could be very popular and you feel left out. That's what I, well, that's what I just seen that. So your person, you could be a male watching this and your person is very um, attractive. Your female, your person, your girlfriend, your wife, she's probably very attractive. She could be a rising star of some type of influence, but I'm getting your person is very popular, whether it's locally, nationally, and you just a little jealous. That's what I'm getting. You a jealous collective a little bit. That's why, yeah, yeah, that's what's going on. What's going on with the collective and with new beginnings in their career? Why is new beginnings here? Why is new beginnings here for the collective today and tomorrow? Concerning their career. Ooh. Ooh, car just fell all in my cup. Hold on. Yeah, the six of pentacles just fell right in my cup of tea. So, I'm going to have to let that cool off. So, in your career collective, there's a, um, you're getting a second chance. Judgment is, um, getting a second chance at something. Um, judgment is a form of, of success, celebration. I'm getting, um, celebration and extreme happiness with this judgment. Something that was dead. I don't know if you could have lost your job. I mean, cause it is a pandemic. So you guys could have been without a job and you guys are getting another job. You probably just found another job. I'm getting celebration with this judgment. Yeah. Somebody's really happy about this new beginning concerning their career. Clarify judgment. Yeah, four swords. Yeah, four swords. You could have lost your job, and you getting a, you getting your old job back, or you you manifested a new a new job. It could have been a promotion. You could have manifested a promotion. Um, or what I just got too, like a favorite coworker of yours. Could have gotten fired or laid off and that person is coming back to work and you happy because it's like this woman is mourning her friend the death of a friend so the collective this could be you mourning the fact that you lost your job or you got laid off or your hours got cut or this is you mourning somebody at um at your job like a co-worker had to leave and i'm getting this co-worker is coming back yeah, because they was four swords. They was resting. They was, they had to retreat. What I'm getting to, collective, yo, you had a co-worker, collective, you or your co-worker, somebody was sick and they could have almost died, but, um, they, um, getting resurrected. Something to do in your career. This is either your career is being resurrected 
or this is involving literally a person, you or somebody like a co-worker collective could have almost passed away. Like they could have been in critical condition and they're going to get a second chance at life. Yeah. Yep. A co-worker. You or a co-worker. Re-employment or somebody is um giving, getting a second chance at life. A very close co-worker of yours collective. Yeah. Um, what's going on with the collective and their family? Why is Heart Chakra here? The moon. Major Arcana for Cancer and or Pisces. So, um, collective concerning your, your, your heart chakra, healing, unconditional love. There could have been secrets, whether somebody was keeping a secret from you or, um, you was keeping a secret. And you had to heal from that. It could have been a family betrayal. Like a, a betrayal amongst family members. It could be something heartbreaking. What I just got to. It could be. You could be a parent collective. And there's something going on with a child. That you feel is better. That you not tell your child. That's what I'm getting. So for example. Collective. You could be the a parent watching this. And you and your husband is divorcing. But it's like, y'all choose not to tell the child or y'all children. The moon, there's secrets going on. And it could be breaking your heart a little bit. Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon. Or a parent could have gotten diagnosed with um, an illness. I'm getting, somebody choose not to tell the child their children. But it's heartbreaking. Your heart chakra. Clarify the moon. What's this going on with the collective and their family? Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon and heart chakra. These cards is bugging. Yeah, five of wands in reverse. <coughs> so like I said, this could be like a betrayal amongst family and friends. Something that got out of hand. The five of wands in reverse is competition and conflict that get out of hand. Got out of hand. Or whatever this moon energy is, this secret, it's like you made your decision on how you're going to handle it and you're no longer in internal conflict. Because I'm getting collective, you, whatever's going on and you keeping it a secret, you made peace with it. You made peace with it. So if a parent, you know, if there's a divorce going on and um, or a parent could have been diagnosed, a family member or something, and... You made peace with making the decision to not tell your children at this time. That's what I'm getting. You made peace with it. There's no longer internal conflict on how you're going to handle and deal with the situation. Because you made your decision out of love. Unconditional love. That's what I'm getting. So this could be family drama. Like a betrayal going on amongst family members. And it got out of hand and collective, you had a heal from this. Or something happened, a divorce or a family member could have gotten diagnosed with something. And the and the adults is making a decision not to tell the kids. And you guys feel as though that's the best. Y'all made y'all decision out of unconditional love for whatever reason. Yeah. What's going on with the collective and their finances? Why is spiritual strength here? The high priestess. Yeah, collective. Um, I'm getting deep manifestation. The high priestess, this is secrets. This is um keeper of the hidden knowledge. So collective, you manifested something. I'm getting manifestation. You manifested a blessing in your finances, and you ain't telling nobody. The card's not even telling me specifically. High priestess came out. So that means. You'll find out in due time. Yeah, that means you mean you need more information. Yeah, collective, you ain't telling nobody. And I don't blame you because it took spiritual strength for you to manifest this. And you don't want nobody messing it up. Yeah, so you ain't telling nobody nothing. You're keeping it to yourself because you put blood, sweat, and tears into this manifestation. Yep, so you ain't telling nobody. Clarify the high priestess. Clarify the high priestess. 
Yeah, Ace of Cups, self-love. Mm -hmm. You could have learned a, a valuable lesson. I don't know, you could have been doing business with some with, with somebody and it went left and you could have suffered the short end of the stick. So it's like you getting your money back up. I'm getting manifestation and healing in your finances, but you not telling nobody. You not telling nobody. You learned a lesson. You high priestess about your self-love. This is a form of self-love, not running your mouth. You learning not to run your mouth. Yep. And it took some spiritual strength. You learned a hard lesson, a hard truth you had to learn. And that's self-love and learning when to close your mouth about your blessings. Yep. That's what I'm getting from that. Or, collective, you could, um, for number one, you're very happy. This is self-love, but I'm getting you are very happy and you keeping it to yourself. But you can also be in like a partnership with possibly even a lover and you guys are manifesting together. This is a manifestation of love. And you ain't telling nobody. Either way, you ain't telling nobody. I don't know. You could be the other woman. And you doing business with somebody else. Man or woman. It's successful, but you could be the other person. Yeah. So, um. What time? Where's my other? What time is it? I got to hurry up because I got to go do something. So let me just pull an advice card and then I'm going to end it because I got something else I got to do. So let me pull an advice card on y'all energy for today and tomorrow. I didn't, I didn't shuffle this day. Collective love, career, family, and finances for today and tomorrow. March 16th and the 17th. Collective all time. Give me advice for the collective's love life with discontent in the star. Collective love life. Give me some advice. One, one advice. Give me advice. Collective for the collective's love life for today and tomorrow. Worry. Yeah. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Yeah. I'm getting somebody a little jealous because their person is popular in your love life collective and you worry. Yeah, you worry. But your advice is to learn that worry doesn't change an outcome. Yeah. Or even if it's if, if this not you being jealous, whatever's going on, whatever you're discontent about in your love life, don't worry about it because worry can't change it. That's your advice. <sighs> What's going on with the collective and their finances? What's their advice for new beginnings? Judgment and the four swords. Ooh, two cards came out for that, and I'm going to take it. What, four? Mm-mm, I don't got time to do all four. I just need one for the collective's career. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can't expect it from myself. Yeah. Honesty. So, Collective, you're going to have to be honest about something. About yourself. Concerning your career. Is something good going on? You manifest a new beginning. Some type of new beginning here concerning your career. But it's something. Um, that you're going to have to be honest with yourself about this, this um, new beginning. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can't expect it from myself. Maybe you was dealing with someone who could have lied to you. Maybe they told you you wasn't never going to get your job back, but you found out you was going to get your job back sooner than what they said. Something like that can be going on. Um, What's going on with Collective? Give me advice for the Collective Family Matters. Heart Chakra, the Moon, and Five of Wands in Reverse. Yeah, love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Yeah. Whatever's going on with concerning your family, um, your advice is to commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. See the good in it. See the good in the bad. Um, what's going on with the collective day? I'm not going to take that one. 
What's going on? With, what's the advice for the collective concerning their um, finances? Why is spiritual strength high priestess in Ace of Cups here? What's the advice for that? What's the advice for that? Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Mm -hmm. Doubt. Don't be in doubt. I don't know, collective. You could have won, won the lottery. Don't don't be in doubt. Go claim that ticket. Don't be in doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. You could have won the lottery between today and tomorrow. And you probably doubting. You're like, did they really just call my number? I release the need to, all, to know all the answers. I'm getting somebody, this Ace of Cups, somebody is happy. And you probably like, you probably wonder why God loves you so much. Something going good and somebody finances. This Ace of Cups is you wondering why. What did I do right to get, I mean, you probably like, I don't deserve this. Somebody is happy. Yeah, you probably got to answer prayer. Mm-hmm, but don't doubt. It's yours. That's what I want to say with this energy. It's yours. Mm-hmm, it's yours. Somebody probably won the lottery. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from that. Because how you ace of cups, then you in doubt. Yeah, somebody won the lottery. They can't believe it. Mm-hmm. Yup. Something like that going on. Um, Collective, that's what I have for you. Again, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like. Sub subscribe, comment, and or share. Thank you, collect collective.